Happy Saturday, you lovely lot. It is Saturday, the 5th of August, and Big Clock says, it's half past nine. Big Clock is right for six months of the year. It's currently not right because it's half past 10. We don't change clocks, do we, Days? No, my car's been um, <laughs> out of date for like the last six months. Right, I, I can do that. I can. Like, Where is my dad? <laughs> Where is my dad? Uh, I've been advised by both Tracy and Daisy that they are not vlog ready, but Daisy is cooking on the stove at the moment, and you are joining us for a fun-packed weekend with us here at Cheers Is HQ. No, you're not. We are washing, ironing, working our bits off, but. A lot of you lovely lot have been asking for our home vlogs and our home vlogs started during back in those those covid -y days um, but a lot of people have been asking us to do a bit of a catch up there's been a lot going on trace a lot going on, a lot going on. when did we on. when did we do our last home vlogs it was a long time ago wasn't it I don't she doesn't even remember so um, the kids are here. this is how busy the kids are uh, was it when was the last time you saw Luke Daisy like in person? Yeah. Um, two days ago. Two days ago. And they're parting when they were like, when Daisy said goodnight to Luke, they were like, see you Sunday. So that would have been Wednesday. Is that right? Yeah. That's how busy we are. Um, we are running full clip at the hotel. Anyway, there's not a lot of fun stuff going to be going on. To give you an example, I filmed a bit of this yesterday because I thought, oh, this might be a bit of a weekend highlight. And I videoed me um, changing a toilet seat. <laughs> so, uh, Tracy, yeah, insert, that insert that bit now. Oh, also, yesterday I had a different, a different haircut. I had my haircut. I'm not sure. Think you, of the continuity, though. <laughs> but I'm not sure what's going on with my hair. I, I kind of think, like, I've still got hair, which is a right old result, but I'm not sure what I'm doing with it. And every time. I get look at pictures to think, oh, my hair will look good like that. <laughs> These pictures are all of Brad Pitt, so I don't know. <laughs> so I don't know if that's my go-to. Like, uh, and I didn't take it. I I use a barber's in uh, Salisbury, and my barber's. You've been in there, days. So you don't like it in there, do you? It's yeah. <laughs> it's very. Um, <laughs> I, I actually can't even describe it because I was going to say like lads, but it's not. Lads, lads, lads. It is the shadiest place in Salisbury. First of all, you open the door and you have to wait because people play darts, so you have to wait for a bit, otherwise you're going doink, doink. Um, and yeah, it's, it is a bit like a cross between Desmond's, shout out to Desmond's from the 80s, and Lockstock. It's like a cross between that. Anyway, so I had my hair cut yesterday. Um, I was going to go super short, but he said, no, you got hair, keep it, it's sitting well. I don't know what that means. So yeah, I've got a bit of Peaky Blinders, and um, also a bit like Brad Pitt in Fury, if you've seen the film, this is similar to the haircut, because that's what I was going to take in. You feel like Brad Pitt. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, as I say, Big Clock is wrong. Um, it's Saturday, Daisy's working at three, so when she is vlog ready, um, she'll be on uh, the vlog, maybe. You're going to do some cooking tomorrow, is that right? I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to do a cook with, cook with Daisy. And talk about some books. Maybe, I'm just, I'm going to have a chat with my friends. We're going to have a chat with our friends. Uh, we've been catching up on loads of telly. I've been like listening to loads of scary podcasts. Um, so yeah, it's been a while. And I think, as I've said before, especially in lockdown, it is really, really nice to get like a bit of, this is kind of like therapy, speaking to you lovely lot. Um, so yeah. Uh, we're going to crack on with the day. I'm heading down now and I've got a load of washing up to do. It is 21, 21, 25 to 1. That's a clear down done. It's pretty standard at the moment. We're like um, height of season, lots of uh, international guests, which is awesome. Had some really cool people in this week. Uh, we've had like a tour party in from Italy and they're doing all of the like mystical stuff in the area so we're really close to Stonehenge so they've been doing Stonehenge, Avebury, they went to see some crop circles because it's like crop circle season at the moment so all of the beings or energies that create these crop circles definitely not Dave and his drunk sided fueled friends from the pub doing them they're far too intricate for that um so yeah we had 
just over 30 for breakfast this morning. So, you know, if you think 30 people, loads of cups, loads of sauces, loads of food. So the kitchen is now cleared down. I'm gonna head up upstairs now. Tracy's having the best Saturday ever doing the back return. So um, yeah, it, it is really, really busy. So yeah, I don't know what, what I'm gonna expect. We've got 18 bedrooms. So, you know, something might have come off the wall. Something might need a little tweak. Who knows? So I'm gonna go upstairs and see what's waiting for me. You find me at the other, <coughs> the other house. So basically, for those of you that are new to like the home vlogs, we, we've got a big guest house. Big guest house, small hotel, that sort of thing. Um, the only thing that stops it being a hotel, I suppose, is that we don't do evening meals. Anyway, just over a year ago, we bought a lovely little house, like two minutes away, so we could get off site and, you know, relax a little bit and just get away from the business. The business is quite a lot, and uh, it hasn't quite worked out again. Um, let me go into the lounge. Again, we... We bought this to be like a little haven and just to get away from the business. But what has actually happened is business has just gone and continues to be like super, super busy. So, um, yeah, up at the main house, Luke still lives up at the main house. So he's got his, um, he's still there and just, you know, watching over the shop just in case, you know, we need to, um, somebody needs an extra towel or phones up late at night or you know he's he's our man on site so which which he loves so it doesn't feel like we're totally removed from Luke because we we arrive before he wakes up and he um I mean, we're there throughout the day and then we have all have dinner together and then you know he'll go and get online and do what he does and then we come home so it it doesn't actually feel like we're all split up. So basically, running a B&B, &B and I, th I think the reason that we go to Florida, because it is a massive extravagance, because it, it is expensive, um, but we basically get up at, well Tracy gets up before me and I get up at half five every day, um, and then we, we work, and then we lock up at like half nine-ish and then come home. And it's seven days a week. And although if, you know, if you do watch regularly, although Luke and I do go racing, it's not relaxing. First of all, the whole process of being there isn't relaxing because it's really stressful and it's like high octane and it's exciting. And the highs are just euphoric and the lows are just devastating. But we're, we're racing at Cabwell Park next week, so I'm already thinking about everything that I have to do for next week. So, to save a few quid, we camp. Not just to save money, we do like like being at the track to sort of soak up all the atmosphere as well. But, um, you know, the main reason is to, to keep costs down. Um, so next week, I'm going to have to start planning... Um, getting the van packed up, getting the car collected, and making sure Tracy's okay while she's running the business. Obviously, she's okay running the business, but you know it means that we can't have all of the rooms booked out at the hotel just in case there are any sort of maintenance issues. So we've got like, we call them panic rooms. So basically, if, I don't know, a toilet blocks and we couldn't get a plumber out, normally I would fix that. But if we've got a panic room, we can just say, sorry about the toilet, here's another room. Um, and also, I can't fully enjoy myself and throw, like relax entirely. Well, not relax, but I can't enjoy myself entirely because I know Tracy's putting a Herculean shift in back at the, at the business because it's not easy. You know, we both have very set roles. I've got no idea. You know, she's doing the, the VAT now. And, and if someone said, uh, you need to do the VAT, I'd be like... I can't do that, that's not me. Um, so I don't know, I'm having a bit of a waffle. So I've just whizzed up to the house. Um, oh yeah, so basically we've got the house up the road, which, which where I am now, and we've got the two cats here. Kylo's come to say hello. So Kylo and Star are our two ragdolls. They live here, and Tipsy, our street gangster cat, 
He's back at the hotel. This is Kylo if you've never seen him. He is a beautiful, beautiful boy, aren't you? You are a bit needy. So, um, yeah, he's a bit of a whinger. I was talking about why we go to Florida. Basically, the reason we go to Florida is time is precious to us and, the, and we can't afford not to have a great holiday because we run seven days a week flat out, then we have a holiday and then we're, we're back straight into it. To give you an example, when we landed after our last trip, so we landed and then came here, dropped our bags off and then literally had to drive straight, brushed our teeth, freshened up slightly and then we had to go straight back to the business and um, do the handover with the relief management that we'd employed. So it is, it is very, very full on, which is why we have, we do invest a lot of money in Florida, in Disney, because when we go there, we know that we can hit the ground running, not like flat out, but we don't have to go through that whole learning thing about when you go on holiday. It's just very familiar and, and it just, it gets us in the holiday vibe immediately. So yeah, that's kind of why we do it. And then with the added, added fact of like, you know, this whole interaction, this year so far has been quite, quite a challenging year for us as a family. And I think the, I think how the last trip was received has really helped all four of us. You know, it's, um, it really is just a, a huge source of positivity and all of, all of the interactions. I'm really behind on comments at the, at the, at the moment because we are, you know, we're getting lots of them and it's coupled, it's coupled with the fact that I'm going to stop saying we're busy. Um, but just let, just so you know, we do try and answer every single comment and, um, and we do read them. Like, so if, if someone has commented and, and we haven't responded in like a week or 10 days, know that we have looked at that, that's it, but we have looked and, you know, it, it's so touching that we get to have these connections with, with all of you because it's just, it's very meaningful. And as I say, this year, you know, at some point we'll probably go through it all, but th this year hasn't been easy. Um, we're all good, like all four of us are, are, are good, um, but we've just had, it's just been a, a very challenging year and it's just sort of sharpened, not our focus, but it, it's made us how important, it's made us all realise how important this release that we have with you lovely lot is. And I think, you know, some of the conversations and the interactions we have, you know, it's just nice to know that there's somebody else out there. And I think some of you guys feel the same. So yeah, it's mega. I am waffling and I've got a lot to do. And I shouldn't really be sat here because I've got to go, I've got to go get a wash on. I've got to get some ironing from over here, back to there. And and yeah, it's just, this is just really nice. It's nice to do the home vlogs. And again, once again, I'm getting more out of this than anyone else. So I'm just going to go and fill up a big bag of uh, washing which I'm going to take up to the house and yeah we've got um, a big we had a big group in this weekend that were with doing all the crop circles and bits and pieces they've all left this morning that was a really lovely booking um, and it looks like we've had a load of check-ins already because um, quite close to us is a really really lovely wedding venue so we've got lots of people they haven't got the best day for it it's a bit of a dirty old day out there but um, we have a lovely wedding venue just up the road so it looks like lots of people have already um, checked in. So that's nice. So it means that Tracy and I have got a more chilled afternoon. Um, Daisy works at a really, really fantastic um, uh, restaurant, pub restaurant. Um, so I think her shift starts at 3.30. She won't be back till the early hours. And Luke's new job, um, he works on Saturdays as well. So Luke was working with us, with us up until this week. He started his job this week. And he's loving it. So um, he'll tell you a bit more about that later on. Um, I'm going to give the cats a bit of a fuss. I'll make sure Star's right. If you've not met Star, she is just gorgeous. Um, and we're just going to get the laundry up to the house. Got to go to the dump. And yeah. Yeah. Right. Found Star. Haven't made the bed. Don't judge. But yeah, she's just having a bit of a fuss before I head off to the dump.
I've cleaned the kitchen, I've been to the tip, I've done Tesco's, I've sorted some recycling out, and tonight we are having a bit of a cheeky old dinner actually. Tesco Caesar salad. We love these. It's probably like the most, what's the word? Uncost effective? Is that a word? Is that a thing? Un, 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 un eco, pardon? Thanks man. <laughs> it's probably the most uneconomical way of making a Caesar salad. But we love these and we got some steaks for dinner because Daisy doesn't eat meat. She, well, she veggie, uh, pescatarian, I suppose. So tonight, um, Tracy's got a fillet. Me and Luke got ribeyes, jacket potatoes. I've got three jacket potatoes, but Luke won't eat his, but I've now jacket potatoes recently. For something so simple, they're coming out pretty good. Um, Luke should be on his way home from work and fun times for a Saturday night. I'm about to do some ironing. Steaks are all done. I'm gonna let them rest for about 10 minutes now. The plate's kind of warm. And spuds are still in the oven, finishing off. Make the Caesar salad. Um, <clears throat> TikTok, it's great and all, all that. And somebody that I was watching on there was cooking steaks and said to rest them for like 10 or 15 minutes. I normally used to rest them for five, but now, I'm a big convert, so 10 or 15 minutes resting made a massive difference. It's coming up for 10 o'clock. We have just watched Garden... Gardens? <laughs> Gardeners of the Galaxy. <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 3. Look, you've seen that in the pictures, didn't you? I did, I saw it at the Darwin Theatre, I did. <laughs> uh, 10 out of 10, if you haven't seen that, stop what you're doing. And uh, watch that, that was mega, like, just... So, so, so good. Right, we're off home. Luke, you're in charge. Yeah. Love, you. Love you. See you in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. Oh, hold, hold on a second. Happy Sunday, you lovely lot. Coming in. Happy Sunday, it is quarter past 12. We just did 34 breakfasts in. I didn't, you did. In an hour. That is horrible. No one came <laughs> down in the first hour, I'm still washing up. Um, but yeah, that was, it was pretty hectic. How was your job last night? It was a big one. I got in at half two. And that's all I'm gonna say on the matter. <laughs> so what's the plan for today? Uh, so you, Sunday, so you don't work Sundays. I don't work Sundays, Mondays, or Tuesdays. Yeah. Which is lovely. Um, I'm gonna do some cooking, I think. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what are you doing? <laughs> I've still got to finish a load of watch, washing up. Watching up? <laughs> watching up. I've been listening to lots of ghost stories and podcast stuff um, on Spotify, uh, but I have to be careful because people creep down here and make me jump. And some of it is, is kind of creepy. I had to stop listening to some of the true crime stuff. It was narrated by this Australian guy. Oh, yeah. Daisy kept coming down, like... What? Good eye. Good eye. <laughs> Welcome to today's ghost story. Yeah, I had to I had to stop listening to a couple of, <laughs> a couple of them. They just got in my head a little bit. So I'm gonna listen to some um, stories down here. I have still got a whole lot of washing up to do. It is 25 past 12. I've seen Lukey Boy this morning. Uh, he's up and about. Um, getting into a bit of routine and yeah he's got some exciting news as well anyway better crack on okay you're coming on an adventure with me so i need to run some errands and do some adulting um basically my airpods have died a death and i don't want to talk about it but i'm gonna talk about it um i've had them for about two years and they just stopped working and i don't really know why and i spoke to the people at Apple and they were like um oh yeah how long have you had them two years oh yeah they're a bit old now they'll start they'll start breaking and I'm like I don't I, I didn't sign up for this okay uh so I'm gonna go find some new earphones uh yeah wish me luck I quite I do this often I will just walk into town I, I don't walk I'll just drive into town 
and I like to spend time by myself. <laughs> I don't know if that's sad. I do have friends, I promise I have friends. No, I just, I love being by myself and I like taking myself on little, little dates. I'll go to the bookshop and today I'm gonna go and buy some headphones. So I thought I'd bring you along with me for a little change of scenery. Okay, I've just been into Curry's and I think I've had a success. Um, I've gone for these Sony ones. Look good, noise cancelling. I think they're waterproof. But uh, I'm, I'm excited. I'm gonna open them now. I'm gonna put them on. It's like when you get something delivered to the house. Dad, me and dad do this. We, as soon as something has been delivered, like we are opening that there and then. It's getting opened, can't wait any longer. Whereas like, mum will have Amazon parcels just sitting in the kitchen for like four weeks. And I just want to know what's in it. I want to know what's in it. Just open it. So anyway, I'm gonna, gonna get my, play with my new toy. I'm aware that this has been a lot of me just sitting in my car telling you about things that I've been doing because it's a lot harder than I thought it would be. I sort of said to dad, I was like, I'll take the camera for a bit because I don't know, it's really weird being on this side of the camera. I'd like to do it myself. Like I'd love, I'd love to have like my own channel, but I just, don't, I don't think anyone would watch it. Like I don't think I'm. What what would I do? Just sit in my car and talk to people all day? Because that's what it feels like. Like I was gonna, like I went into Home Sense, but I had the camera in my bag and I just didn't show you anything. Anyway, my new headphones, earphones in your ear what are they called what are th earbuds brilliant love them way better than my airpods and they were cheaper than my airpods so it's a good day it's a good day had a waitrose lunch sat in the car park by myself watched tiktoks this is i'm living, I'm living my best life i'm living my best introverted extrovert life here's tipsy out by the bins. It's coming up for half past four. Here you lovely, I've been shopping with Dezo. Yeah, well, shopping in the loosest sense of the word. Nice, where are we going now? I'm going to Greg's. I need cake. Um, for those of you who've been watching like for a while, I used to be doing a bit of fitness, but now I'm just basically fitting this cake in my mouth. On a serious note, I am determined to get back into my athlete physique. But at the moment, it's just so hard. I start the day off with good intentions. I get my little lap out and I put my calories, I weigh my milk for the first two coffees. It's so sad. It is, isn't it? And then I just can't, anyway, off to Greg's. I've never been to this Greg's. We've got like a little service station at the end from Wait. us. Hang on, which... I have been to this Greg's before. I bought you something from there ages and ages ago. You know there are two Greg's in this town? What? Yeah. Oh, uh, what, that one over there? Yeah. We're we going to the new one? Yeah, yeah, that's the one I was hoping, yeah. There's also a Taco Bell up there. And I keep wanting to go to Taco Bell, but, every, but as soon as I say we should go there, Daisy's like, no, it's not very good, it's not very good, it's not very good. Guess who always gets Taco Bell? I don't know. You! <laughs> You always get Taco yeah, Bell. I think they put something in the food. I think but she's do. always like, it's really not good. And whenever <laughs> it's takeaway night, I'm like, should we get a Taco Bell? No, it's not very good. And then whenever I move Daisy's car, I have to like do something to her car. I guess what's in the in the footwell? No. no. Taco Bell. It's usually Mackie's bags. <laughs> yeah, but Taco Bell. And I've never yeah. been. Anyway, we're off to see Greg's and get some we cake. We've to see Greg. <laughs> see Greg's and get some cake. Greg's was a bit of a letdown. It was such a letdown. It's 20 to 5 on a Sunday. But this is on kind of a they busy road. They shot at 7 as well. They shot at 7? Yeah. They didn't have anything. They had a sausage roll, which got for number one. I really wanted like cream cakes. And they've just got two donuts. I'm only going to have one. Daisy didn't want anything. But Taco Bell's just there. And she's like, shall we? 
should we go and try Taco Bell? And I'm like, it's just, it's, it'll probably be cold. <laughs> I don't know if this is universal for all Taco Bells, but this Taco Bell. Isn't there only like two in the country cold. or something? <laughs> I think there's a few more than two. Yeah. I bet there's not many. No, I don't think there's, a, I don't know why we have one. It's really, it looks really cool. It's been there a long time now and you're not letting me try it. I'm not, it's not that I'm not letting you try it. I just think that you'll be disappointed. And every time I have it, I'm really excited about it and I'm always disappointed, so. We're going to take a bell. Are we? Yeah. Yeah. I know all the good spots around here. Where are we? Screw fix car park. <laughs> Screw fix car park. <laughs> However, it's, ooh. I'm oh, sorry. Very, it's really hot. It is hot. First things, no, it's hot. Uh, yeah, I know all the good spots. Screw fix behind us. Look at that lovely view. This has got to be the best screw fix car park in the world. First thoughts, um, that was £9.50 something for two of these. Daisy said it's always cold. This is not yeah, cold. This is actually really hot. <laughs> and uh, the guy that served us, we did the drive through, was really nice. Yeah, he was nice. So there we go. There's mine. And I've got Ooh, a chicken. Hey, sorry, I just stepped on the <laughs> cake. Some other cakes. Ah. I've got a chicken quesadilla. And Daisy, what did you go for? Cheese kiss, yeah. Right, you going for yours first or? I mean, it was really hot. Oh, let's switch through. It is hot. But it's Sorry, good. you're a little bit back like that, Keith. How's that? Yeah, that'll do. Oh. Yeah? You've been mugging me off for a long time. <laughs> it's burning my leg, it's so hot. It's really good. Yeah? Try it. It's got chicken in it, Keith. <laughs> That's really nice. Yeah? Yep. Mm. Good? Hot. Yeah, that's burning my legs. That's really... Yeah, if I'd have... Yeah. If I'd have ordered this in a restaurant... I've never had... Just so you know, it's the best that I've ever had one. It's really flavourful. They're, they're usually cold and the cheese usually isn't melted at all. But this is, that's just our one. Yeah. Mm. Is it £9.50 for two of them? Probably not. No. But, I'm with me busy mate. Busy mate. We, we like to, me and Dad like to go on lots of little side quests, don't we? <laughs> we do, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. I like described our little outings as side quests to him the other day and he... I like that a lot. Yeah. Right. I'm going to eat the other half of this and I'm going to give the other half to Treso. Probably Luke. Does that mean I have to save some of mine? No, I say you didn't order anything. <laughs> Tracy edits these. <laughs> I see you found me at my lowest and weakest. <laughs> <laughs> I've been bullied Jesus, man, for about, I think we counted it two hours, so it's currently raining outside. When I came, I, I don't want to, you explain it. How's it, right, no, because that was boring, the whole headphone going for a bike ride. You're it not, was not boring. You're not going for a bike ride, I want to go for a bike ride, because fitness is my life. <laughs> and, and I was like, well look. I want to be positive in body and mind, so I was going to listen to some positive affirmations while I was doing it. And, um, oh, the rain stopped. Anyway, I wanted to borrow some headphones, and Daisy's got some, like, like little earphones. I wasn't going to use them on the road, never do that on the road, cheesy ears fans, but, you know, there's a nice, nice sort of, like, bike path that I was going to use, like, off, off public roads. And, and Daisy wouldn't let me have a... Earphones, which well, is really the, the earphones that she bought today, and there's not you. <laughs> yeah, those ones. And, there's, and the worst thing is, not only is Daisy my sister, what hurts the most, I thought she was my friend. It's the fact that you came and said, No worries if not, and then I said no, and you go, Actually, no, Every, worries. Everyone knows what no, no worries if not means. It means there will be significant worries. If anyway, I've lent you mine. Yeah. And you're not going for a bike ride now. Because you gave them to me and it took, this was like an hour long. <laughs> it wasn't an hour long. And in that time, it started raining outside. We saved you from getting caught in the rain. I saved me from getting caught in the rain. <laughs> I don't need no man. <laughs> uh, big news for you this week. Big news. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you got fired by us. I got fired. Um, and yeah, just uh, sort of freeloading off, uh, off of you guys now. Just you got a job. I have a job. Come buy a car off me, I'll sell you a car <laughs> on finance, or most people do it on finance. Would you like HP or PCP? No, I'm not sure I know the difference either. Uh, but I will, because I'm training. I'm going to take these out, I'm not listening to anything. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so how's it going? Yeah, good. I uh, started on Wednesday, it's currently Sunday. So I worked Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. This is my day off. And then next week I'll work Monday through to Thursday. Then we're off to Cadwell, which is going to be good. Yeah. But, yeah. And you woke, you woke up at like 
normal o'clock. I know, I'm quite annoyed about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you were just like, oh, this is what it feels like to be a normal person. Yeah, I've got routine now, which means, uh, not to be confused with uh, like chips with gravy and cheese on them. <laughs> 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 you like that? Yeah, I did, yeah. There you go. Uh, <laughs> Daisy loves it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've got routine now. So, so it means that if I have a day off and I want to lie in, I can't. I wake up at half nine and then I'm comp uncomfortably uh, just forced myself to lay in bed for the next hour and a half out of spite. <laughs> I felt worse for it. I wish I'd just got out of bed. Nice, but uh, yeah, any nice people at work, all feels like good vibes. Yeah, 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 it's good vibes. And um, yeah, it's a lot to learn because that was trainee role. I've never done sales, I've never done, um, I was just, you know, new to the role. So uh, it's a lot of it is just information at the moment, but they're being really good with us and just sort of like, yeah, it's going to be overload. And, so yeah, I'm quite tired mentally <laughs> because there's loads of information, but I think it, I'm really going to like it there, and I, I like the vibe, and uh, it's good people, and sell cards, isn't it? And it's long days. Yeah, yeah, they are long days, like 8.45 till 6, and then yeah. Saturday's a bit better, it's 8.45 till 5, and then we work the occasional Sunday, which is 10 till 4, which is pretty good. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. Looking forward to racing next weekend. Yeah. Cadwell. Cadwell, look Cadwell. Nice. <laughs> Uh, how was job last night? It was very busy. Yeah. And You're in charge of the private dining room. It was. Big party. Lot going on. High expectations. Very tired. Yeah. Um, I got home at half past two. <laughs> which um, was always fun. That is late. That was, that's, a, that's quite unusual. That was a big night. And now you've got days off until? Wednesday. Because the restaurant's closed Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Yeah. Which nice. Is so you basically got a bank holiday every week. I know, right? Yeah. It's a bit jammy, isn't it? It's a bit jammy. <laughs> and I've treated you to a nice bottle of wine. You have, that's very kind. So what have we got here? I've got Pinot Noir on the go. Nice. Which is very nice. The one you bought the other day, tried it. It wasn't for me. Yeah. But, but Luke really likes it. Luke really likes it, so he can have it. He can have it. <laughs> um, and we've been, oh, you're doing a bit of cooking. You're working in a high pressure environment, which leads this, this Seamlessly on to the greatest TV show of all time. The Bear. Everyone needs to watch The Bear. How good is it? Oh my goodness. It, I've not watched anything that good ever. Right, what's it about? Well, it's about this guy who's worked in like Michelin star restaurants across the world. And he's like quite young and he's really good. And basically he inherits a sandwich shop in Chicago. And um, he basically tries to turn it into like really nice restaurant yeah nice, but there's a lot more to it than that it's, it's so well acted it's so, so well, well fi filmed so like the filmmaking of it chef's kiss that was fun. <laughs> uh, no it was really good the cast is amazing as well it's got some it's really cool really cameos really in, it. in it uh bob oden kirk yeah, that's the one. Uh, jamie lee curtis is in it yeah it's got some just it's really good. It's on Disney Plus. Cannot recommend it highly enough. How are you feeling about the next Disney trip? I'm so excited. You've done a cruise before as well, haven't you? I have, yeah. Are you on me right now? I'm on you, yeah. yeah. I'm doing the rule of thirds. Are you? Yeah. Oh. I don't know what that means, but Luke's always digging me out over it. <laughs> yeah, Luke getting the... What's his name? The guy who loves the rule of thirds. Someone can answer that in there. there Thanos. Is, there is... <laughs> Steve. <laughs> Steve. Dave, Dave loves it. Dave loves the rule of thirds. Uh, um, right. So you, because you've done a cruise before? I have done a cruise before and I loved it and I've been telling the firm that we need to do a cruise for ages and it hasn't happened. I'm excited, to do, I'm excited to do something different. Yeah. I'm not excited about the cruise. You're not? No. Why? I don't know, I'd just rather be honest. Oh. Yeah. Why, what, why aren't you excited? Is there a reason why or just not sure? Uh, well, cruises have never appealed to me and but every, everyone raves about them. All the people that we know, all the people we love that have been on them and, and lots of people said you will love a cruise, you'll love a cruise but they just don't appeal to me. Uh, and it's, which I'm kind of glad because um, we're going for four nights so it's not like we're on a boat for two weeks. Um, yeah, I just, I just, I'm just not sure. I you think, think part of that's because you feel like you're wasting time at Disney. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I, I totally get that. Like, I have that dream where oh, I go on no. holiday and we have a really chilled time and we get back and we've not done anything. Yeah, I, I'm 100% with you with that. But also, we are very fortunate enough to have been to Disney so many times. Yeah. 
that I think we should allow ourselves to enjoy the cruise. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not, I'm not down on the cruise. I'm not like negative on no. it. It's, it's just like, it's. I, I find it very difficult to sit down and, and not do anything. Um, so yeah, I'm, I am, I'm interested, but I'm not like, yeah. But who? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Right. So anyway, we are chopping up some. We are. Eggplants, aubergines. Uh, what we're gonna do? What, what's on? So. You can cut this in a minute if you like. Yeah. But I will be sort of, I don't know. I've never made this before. I'm making it up, which is what I do with a lot of my cooking. Nice. Um, and it always seems to just be okay. Add more cheese. So, no, I, I don't know. Don't, don't rely on cheese for the flavour. <laughs> right, I'll report back in a minute. This feels like we're going to play shops. <laughs> and I haven't played so. shops for a long time. Right, I'm coming into your shop. Uh, Ding ding! Hello. Hello. How can I help you? We've got a present. <laughs> we have. It's been very nice. A very unexpected present. What have we got? Um, we have got some ear holders. So, sorry, I'm just looking at these from Magical Mummies. There's a little card there. We put we'll put all the details in the uh, in the bit below. Um, but yeah, they've made they make these ear holders. They've got a little. I think they've got a little Etsy shop. And they've sent us a selection of little ear holders with some glittery bits and some stickers. They um, are so cool. Yeah, they're really lovely. I like and these the, bits. Yeah, these are really cool as well. The Mickey, Mickey's on them. So basically, if you're wearing your ears, and as we all know, if we're wearing ears in Disney for any length of time, it start, they start to dig in a little bit after a while. Or if you want to take them off on a ride, you don't want to lose them, then you can actually put, I should have bought some ears actually to demonstrate. We'll demonstrate them another time. But basically, you can put your ears in here and hook them up. And by the very nature of the ears, they kind of well, like the ears themselves will keep them in place. And you can just click that onto your bag, and they can just dangle off your bag, and you're not going to lose them. Or you could take all your ears with you. You could, you could take multiple yeah. ears. Yeah, yeah, I guess you could actually. I don't know how many you'd fit in one without them getting squashed. I think the idea is that you're not putting them in your bag and getting them squashed. So because they're not cheap. Oh, well, ears are not cheap. No, ears aren't cheap. <laughs> ears aren't, no, no longer cheap. Well, they were cheap in the first place. Yeah. So this is nice. This has got a little stitch and monster zinc and sort of cool little things like that on there. We've got some glittery ones. It's a Little Mermaid one. Donald, the OG. <laughs> and a Halloween pumpkin one. Oh, a Halloween one. Yeah. They're so cool. Yeah, they're really lovely. Thank you so, so gonna, much. We're going to take them for a little test, test drive on our next trip. This is like a scene from the bear. Behind. Behind. <laughs> what's going down? It smells lovely. Yeah, what's going down? Chef. What's going down? Chef. <laughs> Behind. Hot corner. Um, so, I'm making like a tomato sauce here. What's in it? This is onion, garlic, put a bit of red wine in there as well, and some tomato paste and some tomatoes. Did you put your nice red wine in there or Luke's nice? Luke's. <laughs> nice, I bet. Um, uh, I've salted the aubergines to like drain out that sort of bitter liquid that you get with it. Yep. Stuck it in this pan so they go on nice like these look great. Yeah, you like kind of floppy like that. Yeah. This is not a healthy meal. Is there plenty of oil in there? Yeah, but it's the Mediterranean diet. Yeah, but if you think, yeah. We're, we're talking about Zach Efron and yeah. he did this one where he met like the oldest like civilization in the country and it was in Italy. Yeah, I remember that. And all the food they eat is like just whatever makes them happy. And carbs and oil make me happy so I'm gonna live for like that's what I was gonna say that's a terrible high five that was a wet high five wasn't it <laughs> <laughs> this it's gonna be good I can feel it can you yeah is it, is it kind of like building a lasagna a little bit yeah it smells amazing so sauce aubergine cheese repeat Nice. It smells so great. Good job, Dezo. Thank you. Right, let's get stuck in. It is 20 to 10, which is kind of late for us. Shirtless Luke's rocked up. Hello, Shirtless Luke. Oh my. You made it on the God. vlog. Well done. Thanks, man. Have a lovely day at work tomorrow. I will. I love, oh, I love you. Daisy, dinner was fantastic. Yeah. High five. <laughs> Mwah. A really awful high five. Ah. Wow. Oh, that was me. Tracy, <laughs> yeah. how's the vet going? Mm, nearly 
nearly there. Right, thanks so much for following along, you lovely lot. Stay safe, be kind, look after one another. Cheers in.